Thunderbrunt. The following program may contain adult or offensive language, excessive drinking, extra lives, heavy nostalgia, dragons, and general dipshittery. Listener discretion is advised. Holy shit. And well, welcome to MAGCAST, the official podcast of the Music and Gaming Festival. My name is Big Adam, and they tell me that I'm the host of this show, even though I think they're all wrong. <laughs> Sitting to my left is the man, the mystery, the legend, the perfect human being, the ever-so-red Mr. Orvi. What's going on, buddy? Hey, buddy. How's it going? That's the best most polite intro I think I've ever given anybody. Most was, praise, at least. Yes, at least that. <laughs> yeah. It's all downhill. And I am pretty red. I'm wearing a red shirt. I've got my red mic. Yeah. I'm red and teed to go. He's good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, well. All right, and that's been uh, episode 26. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs> this show's already off to a raucous start. Speaking of red things, <gasps> that redded giant, red-headed son of a bitch, redhead, red, red, son of a mother fucking or shit. Huey, you suck. Mine Huey. went the opposite direction. <laughs> it was terrible. The only I'm person sorry. who gets worse intros than me is Mike TV. That's true. And here it Get comes. Get the balance. Also, <laughs> I, I like to... You know, my my shirt of that is black. Did they make that especially for you? Is there, like, only one red shirt for MAGFest 13? There's there's more than one, but it is a limited edition color. Okay. There are less right. of these than there it's are. It's so limited. It's so limited that your red hair can't even stand it. It can't. You look more blonde next to the shirt than anything else. This is all visual then humor must, that makes yeah, no well, sense whatsoever. Is, anyway. And now there's a gator in the room. Hi, Huey. Hi. Sitting across from Huey is a man with a whiskey drink in his hand. Yes. Actually, that's that's pretty standard fare for this. Yeah. yeah. For this. Anyway. But we don't condone drinking, ladies and gentlemen. We don't, yeah, we don't condone drinking or the consumption of ice cream cake, clearly, on this a little show. Sure a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crotchety Old Man Mike himself. Mike TV, how's it going, man? What's up, motherfuckers? Oh, see? Mike even got a nice one. I gave him me. a nice one, too. Yeah. <laughs> I generally get pretty good ones, actually. must have actually. done something to him I don't know. over the past Last, months or something. But certainly not least, Matt Cass, very own technical producer, now using a standard microphone versus the fancy schmancy microphone that he, curr- that he used to use. So maybe there'll be less mic stand noise, because before mm-hmm. there was a lot of mic stand noise. So yeah, I had to move it. That's why I'm using the real stand. <laughs> Mr. Ryan... I hope to make less mic stand noise, Meyer. Hey, oh. we brought it back. <laughs> there you go. Your name is back. No, I, you, well, you were doing that <laughs> long, drawn-out thing. I was. I wanted to say, you forgot to say Ryan before you went on about all that. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. I was going to leave that, that shtick dead, but I felt that that was appropriate. It'll never die. No, good job. It can't, it can't die. It, can't, it, can, it can never die for, for real. That's true. That's true. It can be ignored for a little while. What is dead? Can never die. Good God. Anyway, speaking let's... of, how about Magfest? <laughs> 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 it's literally I the I'd worst. Be dead thing. than go to Magfest. Yeah. Boom. Who so wins? you're going to hell. Warm the bank. Yeah. Finger guns. <laughs> so let's talk about the event. This is going to be released the day before the event that I'm going to talk about, and that's Magstock. Sure. I though. am insanely excited about going to Magstock. You have probably every idea we're gonna, that I, I do. I'm pretty sure it's we're going to have amazing. the only Mag Paddock. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. What is, I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> oh, that's right. What they, that's what they keep T Rexes in. <laughs> right. Are, are we going to talk about our plans on the air? Is that going to uh, be a well, surprise? It, I mean, no. honestly, we you just got to show up can. to see it. Well, there's, there's, it'll there's, come out the day before. There's no way anybody could prepare prepare in time to even try it. No, no, you, you gotta you gotta show up to see it. We can talk about it in the recap episode. Okay, okay. I'm okay. Right, with we'll that. swing right, back okay with that. Just actually that you gotta look for the mooks of Magfest because if you find us. You will not be saddened or upset. Actually, were we thinking about doing a live recording there? We could talk about we it probably then. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then we could be like, we're surrounded by certain items yeah. that yeah. may or may not exist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Depending. <laughs> Never mind. <That's laughs> Look, guys. That can get sketchy real quick. Comedy finds a way. Good. <laughs> you know, can we get a hold on? Can we get into that saying for just a second? Neil deGrasse Tyson has ruined me on sayings. On sayings? Yes, there's two of them that people say all the time. And the first one is that quote from that movie. Is, uh, Life finds a way. Life finds a way, right. That is so being real subtle here, guys. incredibly <laughs> ridiculously false that it's mind-boggling. That is the most incorrect information to have ever been spoken. What do you mean? 
Life finds a way. Yeah, it does. 98.8% of all living things to have ever existed are extinct. Right, but <laughs> but, but, but life the, in the, general. Like, it, it does. It's, we're not saying that, you know, things don't die. It's that things actually find, we'll a, way find a way to survive in, right. in the harshest environments. I mean, look, there's friggin' yeah, uh, bacteria that way. living underneath the Antarctic ice sheet in super salinated water that they actually make, <sighs> they, they turn the water red there. That's why you get the bleeding falls in Antarctica that's metal as fuck. And on the, yeah, and on the, and the, on the opposing honest. sides, you have the same kind of stuff, the tube worms and stuff that live in volcanic ocean yeah. waters. And then there's the fact that life, exists like somehow i mean, I mean we're, i don't want to get into like it's really weird guys mike here. is being so motivational right now he's like guys Science. we're all miracles this is, this is this is like the opposite episode <laughs> yeah, everything is wrong the universe uh, is awful for life <laughs> there's just nothing out there it's black inky space and hot flaming gas and somehow Life has come on this weird little planet right here, which shouldn't even be here. This should probably be a gas giant. Actually, rocky planets this close to a uh, star that can heat it correctly are so incredibly rare. Yes, on an infinite scale, you're bound to get them, but the fact that they even exist is fucking amazing. Boy, you make this one little fucking kid, I got... and suddenly life is a miracle. <laughs> 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 Motherfucker, I look at space. <laughs> I know can what's out there. Of, it's terrible. Can we talk about right? gassy giants for all? Because I got home last night and things were just a wreck. Oh, Jesus. It was a mess. Anyway. Jesus Christ. The other saying that, that, that was ruined for me is people who don't eat very much and people say, oh, you eat like a bird. You don't eat very much. Neil, Heinously incorrect. Neil deGrasse Tyson? It was talking about this on the okay. Nerdist podcast. It was a while ago. Birds, their only purpose so in life so other than reproduction He's saying eating. they're incorrect. That's every yes. animal. Okay. Except for so like just, higher you're, order you're mammals. just regurgitating his shtick like a Absolutely. bird. Absolutely. Like a bird. Well, no, no yeah. first yeah. he's I telling him. fucking phrasing. Let me tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> no, first he's telling Neil deGrasse Tyson to take his like 18 PhDs and shove them up his ass. That's right. And then he's saying that he's, he's arguing all this stuff. I'm just stuff. saying. How many PhDs do you have, Mike? Uh, I'm working on a master's. Well, did, wait, did, so did, like point six. Did, did, did Neil deGrasse Tyson say that life finds a way is bullshit? Yes. He did. Verbatim. Okay. Verbatim. Mike yes. is changing his answer. I'm going to look that up. It's on the Nerdist podcast on his second appearance. Anyway, Mag stop. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know this, how we got on Neil that Tyson this will be there. All re- <laughs> God, that would this be is all amazing. related. Don't worry. We're bringing it back around. So Magstock this year is June 19th through 21st down in Louisa, Virginia. As we say in the email, picturesque Louisa, Virginia. Hot dog. It's going to be great. It's a small county campground. Uh, county um, campground. I'm going to go with 15,324. That's the number of drinks that will be imbibed at Magstock. Ooh. Boom. <laughs> I plan on doing my fair share. Uh, Sorry, you just sounded like the price is right an answer for a sec. Oh, so. yeah, that is true. Let's talk about the performers because we, uh, we're recording this a little early. We just got the performer list. I mean, haven't we already done the, announced the performers? No, Some they just got them, announced like a couple days ago. Not all of them. Oh, yeah, I guess yeah, we haven't. Yeah. So I'm just going to run down the list really quick because the list is amazing. And everybody you got a day to get there. It's amazing. <laughs> right. You have a day to buy your $50 ticket and get your ass into get the woods. On. Into the it's grass. It's going to be great. Professor Shy Guy, Inverse Phase, Materia, Ares, Steel Samurai, Spears? Trev Wignall, Wignall. I don't actually know who that is, but he plays a violin, and that's rad as shit. Square Therapy, D&D Sluggers, 8-Bit I mean, Disaster, violin. and Oxide. Man. And, oh, I'm sorry, Solar Bear as well. Whoa, Solar Bear's going to be there? That's awesome. I didn't even look. <laughs> I didn't see Whoa. that. Whoa. I, I, I think, uh, awesome. Only during the day, though. Nirvana, oh, yeah. The Grateful Dead, they're going to be there. Yeah, uh, Jimmy Page. Uh, Jimmy Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Jimmy Fallon, yeah, oh, Play, amazing singer. Jimmy Carey, <laughs> uh, he prefers with... to be known as James. Yeah, yeah, James Carey. Yeah, I know. But anyway, it's gonna be awesome. It's fifty bucks. You should meet us in the woods. Come find us if you come find. That doesn't sound sketchy at all. If you come, come find, find the... us in the woods, yeah. come find us in the middle of the woods, and we'll give you a surprise. I will totally give you the biggest high five your life could handle. Have a tickle fight. <laughs> 
I really hope that some people, and by some people, I mean like two or three people total, like in the whole grand scheme of things, listen to this on the way to Mag's Talk. They're like, oh, the guys put out a new podcast. This is perfect driving material. No, it's not. Sorry, this guys. It's all garbage. You guys are actually going to have an accident now. Yeah, I'm sorry that we're ruining your current life. <laughs> Huey, do you know how bad you're going to feel if somebody actually has an accident at the moment that you said that on the podcast? I mean, I like, feel they, like in their pants. this is just how it had to happen. I... I mean, we're terrible, guys. I mean, you should have yeah, picked not... a better podcast. That's What's right. after Mag Stock? There's What's... more stuff coming, right? Yeah. What we got? What's next? Bitch and Gamer Fest. <gasps> oh, whoa! That's a ways out, isn't it? Though. Boom! That's in July. That's in July. Yeah. We, we, oh, we you shit. got July nineteenth. That is next month. Are I you kidding me? You got something in June. I do got something in June. We do. Are we talking about press start? We're or... talking about press start. <laughs> All right. Spoiler alert. We're talking about press start. Wait, wait, wait. You mean push start? Push start. It's press start. I know, dude. They wrote the wrong they wrote thing it on, wrong the, on oh, the board. Oh, they wrote it wrong on the chalkboard. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the last one. The last press start was pretty great. Pretty, it we went pretty well. About thirty people, thirty-five people out <laughs> hanging out. Yeah. Um, got a nice we, bracket of sixteen people playing double dash. Fucking yeah, the fixed bracket. The bracket was great. I completely randomized it, and Orvi placed second, it's and bullshit. he's incredibly upset about it. <laughs> it was, dude. I went up against. The winner and the guy who came in Matt third Pye. in my first run. Congratulations to Matt Pye for taking home the championship. He won the Double Dash tournament of Press Start. And then we've got Orvi came in second. <laughs> and then the guy that I brought in as a ringer, my cousin, Ian Goodwin, with a solid third place. It was solid. There was a, there was a bunch <laughs> of people. Did he claim his high five? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, good, good. Uh, there was a, there was a friend of mine, uh, Scott Preston, or I'm sorry, Brian Preston, Scott Preston, Brian Preston, good friend of mine, apparently. Uh, Preston um, Pharmaceuticals. Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, he was upset because he was saying that because he was in the early bracket with both Matt Pye and Ian, <laughs> yeah, that's he got a rough completely bracket. completely screwed. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I had, I had an easy bracket going up. Like I, I, I crushed everyone in my bracket easy. Yeah. Like all the way up to the finals. Yeah, all bracket. of his races, seriously, all of Orvi's races were like, he was at least three quarters of a lap ahead. I did lap someone of... at one of them. I think, <laughs> I think in the semifinals set. I, I lapped That's someone. That's ridiculous. I yeah. I was with Matt Pa and your cousin. Yeah. So That's and, rough. And th- it was you and Brian and Brian Preston then. That's bullshit. Yeah. That's rough. I I randomized the bracket. It fell how it fell. It, it is what it is. But anyway, congratulations <laughs> to those guys. First, second, and third. They did awesome. They all won prizes, and it was pretty. There was cool. a lot of screaming. It was I, awesome. I, oh, well, that, it was, that's it was Matt. super intense. It was it was a good it was a good laid back like just chill event. Uh, <sighs> It's a, yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's a it's a nice little venue. It's yeah. just a yep. chill little bar. Bar has good food and like. I if, was just gonna say there was a win, bunch of if, people that tried a bunch of different foods and everybody said the food was awesome. Yeah, they uh they and fed if you, Adam and if you and place well free, in the tournament, so. you get money off your bills. So yeah. exactly. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the next one, and that's going to be June twenty fifth. That's another Thursday night. I ran a vote uh, to see what the next game was going to be. I did it Democratic style. I put up four games. And the game that actually we wanted to run next actually won the vote, which was pretty I didn't cool. expect it was going to. Either did I. So we're going to be playing Pokemon Puzzle League. Woo! Uh, it's going to be great. If you're no. not familiar with Pokemon Puzzle League, just think Tetris Attack because it is quite literally the exact same game. Come on out for that one, Matt Pie. Oh, can, can there it is. Called out. <laughs> and see, he, won't. And he, he actually does, does listen to bracket. this. So. Good. He just Good. plays Double Dash. Because... I will play him in some more double dash. In our Perfect. Perfect. I took Perfect. A, I took him in a couple exhibition races after the after uh, the yeah game. yeah he he told me that 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 uh, that you, you guys had done a couple just back alley brawls yeah and uh, it came out pretty even no next 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 month I mean you know we'll we'll be playing puzzle league up on the main screen but we'll be doing some money matches on the side. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, Double Dash Money Match, let's a, go, boy. <laughs> Matt has a long and storied history with Double Dash. Oh, that's true. That is he, very uh, true. he used to be in an uh, entertainment system, right. and they had a rivalry with This Place is Haunted yep. as to who was better at Double Dash. Oh, man. And so it was typically be like, a, it was JD and Matt versus two of the guys from... Uh, it was uh, Mike CPH. Zucker and, and Pete Rains. And... Good Lord. There's just the screaming they made a trophy. those matches. They, oh, yeah. they made a physical awesome. trophy. Yeah. Dude, uh, as much as I love Double Dash, the new uh, the Mario Kart Eight Two Hundred CC is the new high level skill oh yeah. Mario Lord. Kart it's because that, that is so fast. Like you actually, it's something you've never had to do in Mario Kart. You have to break now. Oh wow! Because Whoa. you go so fast. Like if you if you if you uh, skid and slide a turn, like you're just gonna bang into the wall every time. Yeah. Like if you if you take a sharp turn without either letting up or hitting the brake. Wow. 
It's it's intense. It's fast. It's high yeah. stakes. I need to play it a little bit more. Pokemon Puzzle League keeps. is going to be it's awesome. Life or death. Yep. Yeah. It's all the marbles. Vote or die. <laughs> and then we're, uh, I guess we're going to continue the voting thing going yeah, forward. Yeah, what we're going to do is, I think, I'm really from, from surprised Power Stone didn't win because I, I, I really I, am. Everyone, everyone I know, like, loves Power that Stone thing. lost by one vote. That'll, okay. that'll be next week. Next week. Yeah, next, next month yeah. is probably going to be yeah. Power Stone. Well, I can, I'm going to put that on the list. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, to take the winner off the list and then put a new game yeah, on the list. That makes sense. Um, so uh, the other games that were on the list were Power Stone, uh, the original Tetris, and, uh, and Mortal Kombat 2. Nice. So, we'll have to see what goes MK2. from there. Yeah. So, but yeah, so, uh, June 25th, we're generally aiming for, like, the last Thursday of every month. Yep. So, I right. wish you guys would come on out to the cool Thursday, room. man. Thursday's the day we could get the room for free. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, yeah, the, 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 the sign-ups to get in the bracket on June 25th are going to be from 7 to 9. And we're going to go live with the tournament right at 9 o'clock. So, get there before 9 o'clock if you'd like to compete. Get there anytime if you'd just like to come hang out, have an awesome conversation with a friend, and play some video games. Each Try the ridiculously strong signature drink we pick. Good God. And then the Please following show. the following Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the signature drinks were really cool. Right. They, they, they all had fancy themed drinks for yeah. uh, for Mario Kart. They had the blue shell, the well, turbo. we picked that one. We picked the blue shell. Uh, the blue shell is actually all booze. It is one part vodka, one part uh, gin, gin, and, and one, one part, part blue curacao. Oh, well, I, was I like, mean, well, appro- appropriately so, because the blue shell is going to fuck he you got, up. He got one of them, and he was like, you need to try this. And I was like, okay. And I took, like, a half a sip, and I was like, oh, 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 boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, man, if you're, if, you, if you're in first place, that thing's going to knock you back I, third, I insisted man. on trying that was the only one i had it's just like i'm gonna try it because we suggested it yeah and it was it like was all right done and well it was, was it like like good it was all right it had a good flavor yeah. to yeah. it but it was it's just, just like, so alcohol right. i mean yeah obviously it's like a long island iced tea but yeah and they gave they gave good. adam and i like four drink tickets each so i yeah. was not yeah good they gave us they gave us a free meal of whatever we wanted oh, and four are. drink tickets it was nice sweet Pretty so cool. like so, Adam games. and I are just gonna do it regardless because they're feeding <laughs> us and you know giving us booze. And those noodle bowls are insane. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, they're so good. Anyway, what, <laughs> you said the Wednesday after. The Wednesday after uh, is the Symphonics Evolutions concert. The mm. Pokemon Evolutions concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. And, and uh, at the Meyerhoff and That's Magfest awesome. will be providing some gameage for that. We're gonna have all the Pokemon games that we can throw up there. And are you gonna have those. Pokemon Puzzle League? Well, of course. <laughs> We're gonna have Puzzle League. We're gonna have Snap. We're gonna have Stadium. We're gonna have we're gonna have some guys bringing some uh, some trading card game ringers <laughs> doing some doing some matches nice. for people oh, and nice. like doing okay. some silly whatever they come up with. Uh, we're gonna have some of our Magfest gym leaders out uh, taking DS challenges, of course. That's awesome. So that, that is that, awesome. That should be a pretty fun little collaborative effort. Not not a straight up Magfest event, but something we're supporting. Yep. Right. And then you know at the end of June in in in, in the middle of uh, middle of July here, like I said. BitGen Gamer Festival. At Artscape. At Artscape, officially. So it is going to be ridiculous. That's it's July be, 19th? I'm, I'm not going to put dates out. I'm not going to put times or locations out yet. I'm going to wait till everything gets 100% solidified. I mean, the dates for Artscape are solidified. Yeah, yeah. Clearly. <laughs> it's, Artscape. Yeah, it's going Clearly. to be it's during Artscape, out, and we'll have the plaza in front of the University of Baltimore, and I think also space inside for the Indie Showcase. I believe that's yeah. correct. So, I mean, but we'll past, have... If, but past if you've that, ever been, If you've alone. ever been to Gamescape, which MAGFest has helped uh, coordinate and organize with... Uh, the past several years, uh, it'll, we'll, we'll still have that kind of stuff. Right. We'll have the indie showcase. We'll have arcades and stuff. And but we're also, also going to have our full, uh, a whole new out, outdoor spread yep. going on. Yep. And mm. uh, we are. I'm. I'm not going to put any hints on this out. <laughs> but we are about eighty percent confirmed on what could be the coolest thing that Magfest has ever done. What and is that? The uh, go away. I know what it is. I, I'll give you Thank one you. hint. I'll give you one hint because it'll give it to you. Roof. Oh, okay. That. Right. I can't wait till we can talk about that. It's gonna be so good. Are we, gonna roof, yeah. are we roofing? Dom? Artscape, which means <laughs> bit. <laughs> Shut yeah. up, Mike. God, <laughs> it's a secret. We uh, our, bitch, and this year is gonna be free, so everybody needs to come to Artscape. It's gonna be one hell of a time. Um, get side, hot, get sweaty. Side get promotion on my side. If you've never sides. been to Artscape, you should just go to Artscape. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Side side little promotion on for for me and Mike because we're both part of it. Um, Baltimore Rock Opera Society is also going to be doing a really cool thing called Brotion City, 
And it's Roshan be- City, Maryland, turned down for water. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, God. <laughs> Let's talk <laughs> about something line. slightly different. Let's get into something that we should have gotten into last episode, but we never did. And that's that? the mobile gaming challenge. Oh, shit. We never got into that's the right. mobile gaming well, I, challenge. I completely forgot. Well, you know what? For that Splashy was- Fish. That was a long time ago. It's, oh, a, it's a shame you guys didn't shut me down before I had a chance to play. He won. Oh. So, so did I'm, you come back? I guess we'll find out. I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> I'm just going to go Maybe ahead and not. tell you guys how my high score on Splashy Fish. I think it was 11. And then I said, this game is stupid. It I is don't want to play game. it anymore. 11 is uh, not I, a bad number considering the difficulty. Of I'm that a game. I, I played it for like 10 so. seconds. I was like, done. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ryan, what was yours? 15. 15 again right. it's a very difficult game uh, i'm gonna go next because i know that i fall in this exact position I, I hit middle of the road i got 33 okay i felt pretty okay about 33 and as a side note i got eight on extreme which is not good but oh i didn't do extreme yet oh you didn't i got 33 normal extreme, huey man. why don't you go ahead and tell me your number for splash i got 62 62 and i got 21 on extreme that's crazy Whoa. but we're gonna go 62 is the actual challenge yep, yep. 62 is ridiculous yeah oh i i thought so too <laughs> and then orvi because we didn't go over it last episode took the the extra time i ha- i had i had not played until about 10 minutes before we recorded last episode because i forgot about it and then i played it a bit and i was like this is stupid but then Huey had a higher score than me, so. And then I'm what did a, you end up with? Well, I was disappointed because I didn't hit triple digits, uh, but I did get ninety-two. Jeez, <laughs> so that's ridiculous. Christ. I was very disappointed when I got to ninety-two and didn't hit one hundred. Ninety-two. But uh, yeah, yeah, ninety-two. That's all right, I guess. God, shut up, God. You. Sorry, Hugh. Yeah, I still beat you in extreme. Can we just, can we just rename this to the Orvi Wins Challenge? No, uh, I like, lost no, the last I won one. one. Yeah. Uh, I no, technically you're right, you're won right. one. No, you're right. You're... Oh, wait. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Did we cover that on the oh, podcast? Oh, no, 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 we didn't. Well, that's how we got to Splashy Fish was Huey won. Yeah. Yeah, except he didn't. There's been a conspiracy. Oh, that's right. I lied and I got away with it. Wait, what happened? I didn't actually He had his buddy. He had a ringer come in, use his phone, and get his high score on Super Hexagon. Mm-hmm. Who was a person? You guys don't know. His name is Mitch. Son of a For bitch. shame, <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> so, we're so going to come up with like the punishment. Splashy fish was yeah, bullshit. No, 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 no. Well, he won. But the punishment I'm, is... I'm going to be honest, guys. The only reason I did it is because yeah, you said I never lie. Yeah, we got to come up with the punishment. I can't lie successfully. So I, I did that specifically to see if I could get away with one. And I did. So... The punishment <laughs> is the next time he's supposed to pick a game... I'm not allowed to pick the game. Totally fine with me. No, we can come up with something better. Than that. nah, something good. better? We'll, we'll come up with something for next episode. Why don't you okay. go extreme? Don't you I don't want to hurt your you feelings. You are go ahead. bitter. Do it. Go you know, your punishment is you have to be happy that he beat you. I am plenty happy that Orby beat me. And you can't be bitter. But I, I'm not bitter. I just really wish that Orby would try extreme so he could see. You know, well, I'm not going to do it now. I'm extreme for the real man plays, is what I'm saying. See, I, I got like 2% left. I would posit that I... I would mm-hmm. posit that I actually won the challenge because I played the game the least. You just charged your phone. God damn it. He is it's, not wrong. It's an old phone. <laughs> it. it was full like two hours ago. Orby. What? You won. I did. You get to pick the next game. Oh, God. I haven't looked at that. I have one if you, could you just want to go with that. I do. I also have one. I also oh, yeah? have one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, yeah. Go. Well, All right. we'll and we, we can keep, yeah. Is the, is the game called Rock Paper Scissors Shoot? No, 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 no. Me and Ru- me and Ryan are gonna <laughs> fucking rochambeau it right now. Yeah, you're not you're not in it, Huey. Rock Paper Scissors Shoot. Somebody call it. <laughs> oh, we'll go on shoot. Rock Paper Scissors Shoot. Rock Paper Scissors Shoot. Oh my God! Rock Paper Scissors Shoot. Oh, Got Adam him. takes it. Got him. I won something. Was, for those of you that weren't here to watch that, which is no one except us, uh, there was there was a tie. It was double scissors, double paper. Scissors paper yeah. taking Adam to victory. So I'm going to go high level strats with a game called Tiny Wings. It's only a dollar. That's a good one. Fuck, that's not on Android. We can't play that game. <laughs> I just realized that. Yeah, Damn. no, that that was my problem with Planet Quest. I wanted to play Planet Quest, but it's, it's not, not, on, not Android. on Android. No, Splat or Tiny Wings is very specific. Not what do you Android. got, Ryan? Never mind. Ryan. Actually, I don't know if this game's on Android. Oh my god, Android's can, the worst, isn't it? Fuck you guys. Should have got an iPhone. Can, can somebody check if Bird Climb is on? Android Bird Climb. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was the one who showed it to me. We were playing. All right. It. So it's called Bird Climb. I'm going to download it right it's, now while you're explaining like, it. It's like um, 
Flappy Bird meets Infinite Runner. It's quite okay. fun. Okay. It's, it's pretty Infinite cool. Infinite Runner as in, like, like Cobalt? That kind of Infinite Runner? I don't know what that is, but, um, like, um, Why do you Jetpack guys Joyride, that kind Flappy of thing. Bird crap. What was it called again? Dude, that was Bird Climb. Fun, Bird man. Climb. Bird it's not, Climb. It's not, like, the physics it's is kind of like Flappy Bird, enough, but the mechanics are, it's like yeah. an Infinite Runner with Flappy Bird physics. It's cool. It's okay. It's different. Oh, it's a freebie, too. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, it is free to play, too, so that's even better. Um, so that the only thing with this game is that there are ways that you can continue once you've died. So um, are so we just going to honor system one life? So yeah, there, so there's, um, you can always get one for free with a video by watching a, an ad. Right. Um, and then you can also pay crystals that you earn from just playing the game to, to, keep, to going. keep going. Okay. Um, so yeah, we can say one life. We could say you could just use the free replay. No crystals. I don't. Yeah. I definitely think crystals are out of the question because that's just insane. Okay. Um, well that would, that would have the, the. Whatever we played earlier before that had this sort of the farming problem of sure. I can, or Tetris Attack, I think was the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tetris Blitz. Blitz, yeah. Tetris Blitz um, yeah. I would say what the one free continue is probably reasonable. Okay. So if you have one free continue, go Actually, for let's it. just say one life. That's simple. Yeah, I think just, just straight just up one life. Easy. One life. No okay. continues. It's, and then what's the scoring metric? Is it points or is it distance or? Um, it is. Let me play it for a second to remind myself how high I got. Uh, it's what floor you can get to, I think. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, deal. Done. I have it downloaded. Done I will skis. start playing that while I'm taking craps. Yeah, that's it tells you what floor you're on the game <laughs> over screen. That's what so mobile that's, games that's are perfect. for. That's exactly what mobile games are designed for. Yep. It's fun. quite an entertaining game. I will. It is. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Right, well, how about our non-mobile gaming? Yeah. So, right, let's, uh, let's, Guys, let's talk about Fallout. Oh, God damn it. New Mag Quest. New <laughs> Mag Quest. I like it. All right. Well, we'll, we'll do that, and then we can we can move right into all of the more recent announcement. Oh, 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 don't Fallout. you take this from me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. I guess we're going to talk about New Vegas right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who wants to Who wants to start this week? I started last time. I'm furthest behind, so I should probably start. Okay. Since I haven't actually even talked about the stuff that you guys already talked about. It's true. All right. So well, that's right. You're playing as me. Oh, this is going to be great. So um, <laughs> after after a nice long nap in Good Springs, uh, Adam finally woke up, left the doctor's house. He's like, "Oh man, it is a great day. It is good to be alive. Let's see what's going on." He opens the door and he's like, "Oh fuck, everything is wrong." Because you forgot that everything was all terrible. That's true. <laughs> um, so you want to so run? Easy. You want to run Good Springs, Brent? You went into the bar because I mean, why not? Right. Uh, they, they got whiskey there. Life is happy. Uh, you you ran into some people that that offered to teach you the ways of the world. You mm-hmm. you taught you how to shot some shoot some bottles. That was pretty cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> you you found out that there was uh, there was someone hiding out up in uh, up in the gas station that that could use some help, and you thought, man, this guy, you know, this town might be might be valuable to me. Maybe I should I should help them out and. Let them see that you know I'm I'm worth worth it. Okay. So you uh you help them fend off the powder gangers there, um and now you are like immortalized at Good Springs. I forget what the word they use in the game is. Idolized. Idolized. idolized yeah. That's the one. Mm-hmm. So they Did are you just go with famous. I think. Yeah, famous. Pretty much. Oh. Everyone in Good Springs <sighs> knows your name. They play the Cheers theme every time you walk into the bar. <laughs> <It's great. laughs> Adam. Sometimes you, you want to go. go. Well, um. Yeah. No. So. All right, so then you were like, all right, cool. I'm idolized here. My work here is done. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So you moved on to Prim. Uh, you wandered on over. You saw there were some problems in the, in the prison. Uh, the prisoners were assholes and just shot you on sight, so you've, they, they were beyond saving. Okay. But uh, there were some NCR folks there that kind of wanted to help maintain order, and the NCR is pretty, seems pretty ubiquitous, so they're probably good friends to make. So, uh, <laughs> so you went in and you helped them. You you saved the deputy uh, from inside the hotel. Oh, okay. uh, he was he was a little reluctant. You, you rescued him, and he was like, "Sweet, I'm out of here." And you used your immense charisma to be like, "Hey, fuck you! I will shoot your ass if you don't help me get out of here." Um, <laughs> fortunately, you'd already killed everyone in the building, so it was a very quick, easy walk out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but still, you, you used your charisma to convince him that he wasn't just going to run away on you. Mike um, Huey, is it possible to become famous in every town in New Vegas? Um, you, you you have to basically. There's two factions. If you pick. The, if yeah. whatever pet faction, the opposite one you pick, you can't become famous in that faction. Yeah, <sighs> you can't. I mean, you can get close, but you can't like have the NCR like you, and you can't uh, and the Legion like you. At can the you same at least time. become infamous? now? You could get the uh, the Powder Gangers Maybe. to like you, though. So you can. You, you? could be. Yeah. They're, see, they're they're like they're low life. They they are not going to give me anything, so I don't give a shit what they. Think. I mean, to be fair, I was <laughs> hanging around with us. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what what Did happened you... after that? Um, oh yeah, and so so combat wise. You you exclusively use uh, sort of very blunt 
crude N- not crude not crude but just kind of brute forcey weapons so like melee weapons uh shotguns grenade launchers that kind of thing no- nothing nothing okay. precise <laughs> okay. there's no precision involved no, um you started not. out you you had this pair of boxing gloves in your inventory and you were like man this is going to be great and then this like fucking dragonfly or something walks up to you and you punched it like 20 times and it still wasn't dead so you decided the boxing gloves are garbage um hot garbage you, you found a yes, hot steaming pile of chinese food dumpster garbage um but you still have them for sentimental reasons oh well yeah because they were your first weapon yeah, yeah. Were, re- were very quickly discarded um you found a, a sword that did some damage for a while um then you noticed you had a really nice shotgun that apparently can't hit things that are right in front of you sometimes but if you're using that for a while blowing some heads off uh, you Bethesda also have a very mechanics. You have a very one strike <laughs> attitude with people. As soon as they piss you off, you're just like, "Nope, you are you are one dead motherfucker." <laughs> so, what somebody somebody okay. looks at you funny, you just shotgun to the face. <laughs> Sometimes five shotguns to the face because you missed the first four. Yeah. I don't know how that works. Um, I think you've currently settled on a tire iron as your weapon of choice. Uh, it's it's cozy. it's working out pretty well to, <laughs> to solid, bash in some heads, weapon. but yeah, it's just it's just it's okay, that good. You've moved on. Um, all right, went from there. What, did, oh what happened after Prim? After Prim, you typically head to Novak. Or well, you Novak. head to, uh, you can go to the Mojave Outpost. Oh, right, right. So, so, yeah, in Prim, I ended up, uh, sorry, you ended up putting the NCR in command there. So you went to the Mojave Outpost, got them to use your charisma once again to convince them to send more troops Ooh. to the Mojave Outpost. And they were like, well, everybody's going to have to register, and, you know, we're going to pretty much implement martial law, but... You're getting the NCR on your good side, so that's good. Martial law, I mean Adam Law, so everything's cool. Uh, <laughs> good old Adam Law. Okay. You're like um, Mussolini. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, then you went to the... What, what's in between Prim and Novak? A couple Mojave things. Mojave Outpost. No, Mojave there's the other one. And there's, there's also one the uh, the Nipton. Nipton, that's the one. Yeah. I think I think you like talked to two people there and they weren't having any of it, so you just kind of rolled through there because they were okay. stupid. Um, then you got to Novak. Uh, you so you ran into someone who was having trouble with uh, people slaughtering their cows, and cows are delicious. Uh, uh, and, and you fully. are a big fan of steak. Well done. So you were not going to have any of this. No, oh, man. So, no, that needs to be rectified immediately. Yeah, Justice gold. needs to be. So he was like, down. somebody shows up at midnight every night and kills one of my cows. Not all of them, just one. Just okay. one. Okay. So you were like, this is some bullshit, and yeah. I won't stand for Agreed. it. Agreed. So you sat there for 23 hours, <laughs> waited until it was midnight, <laughs> and yes. then you pulled out your trusty shotgun, and then some, well, it missed. A, <laughs> a, it was midnight, and then nothing happened, and then it was like 1230, and nothing happened, and then like 1242 rolls around, <laughs> and you see this strange little blur just come across the horizon towards the cow pen, and you're like, oh, shit. This fucker is trying to kill some cows. This Can't is not it. gonna happen. Can't have it. So you walk up to him, and he's like, he's clearly stealth, but you, you can see his little shimmery outline. You walk like right up to his face mm-hmm. with your shotgun, <laughs> just pop, miss, oh. and then he uncloaks. He, uh, I think he starts shooting at you a little bit, and then he starts running away, and you're like, oh, oh no, no. <laughs> so you chase him now with your shotgun, like. 600 feet later because okay. at this point you're shooting him at like 60 yards with a shotgun that can't hit it yeah, point blank right uh, eventually you get him dead and then you go inside and you tell the farmer man your, your cows are set and he says you know what? help yourself to whatever you want in the fridge it's yours you go in oh, there's like man. there's like 10 just packs of steak in there and yeah. so you ate some of those and just went straight into a food coma and i, I couldn't wake you up again <laughs> so that's, it all sounds very accurate actually. that's amazing <laughs> So oh my God. Sh- should we do it that the person who gets played goes next? Sure, yeah. That, that makes way? sense, yeah. Okay, so I'll go, and then obviously Mike will yep. go. I was playing as Mike. So uh, I stopped right uh, – I stopped a little early last time. I didn't actually get to Novak. I got to Prim. And the first thing that I did when I got to – or I'm sorry. The first thing that Mike did when he got to Prim is like some kid walks up to you, and he's screaming about how he just won the lottery. And he's very excited about how he won the lottery. And I was talking to him about it, and – I'm sorry, Mike was talking. I gotta, I gotta get this right. Mike was talking to him about it, and the guy called Mike a, a a bad name. I don't even remember what the name was, but Mike decided he was not having that. Plus, if he won the lottery, he's got to get some good stuff on him. And right? laser pistol directly to the face. It exploded his head. 
Um, so <laughs> that guy died instantly. Yeah. Um, I went through. I went through prim. Which is a shame because you really should have let him know that he had dishonored you and put him through. Some there was pain. no more talking options, or I would have done that. <laughs> um, I demand satisfaction. <laughs> then, then Mike also went into the prison and and uh, freed freed the deputy. The deputy bailed because look, Mike's an an okay guy, I guess, but he doesn't have the speech or charisma to keep anybody with him because they all know he's a raving did, lunatic. Did I shoot the coward in the back? We'll get to that. So, <laughs> oh man. So, uh, so you get outside, and then you go, uh, you go back to find the guy roaming around the one building. I forgot what building it was, um, where you can meet back up with the deputy. Yeah. And uh, Mike then shot him, uh, <laughs> cold blooded, killed him because he was like, "Why did you leave me? You're a terrible human. Great. And you've done nothing for me. So you killed him, and then you killed everybody else that was in that office, and that was pretty fun. Um. Oh my god! So then we we made our way to Nipton, and Nipton was completely worthless to you. You, <laughs> you didn't want anything to do with Nipton. You left Nipton, and we went to Novak. Um, in Novak, uh, I I didn't expect him to skip Nipton. Yeah, huh? well, it is what it is. Novak, we got to Novak, and Mike was like, "That is a really cool dinosaur. I'm gonna go all up in that dinosaur." So we went up in the dinosaur, and we met. The guy that stands in the dinosaur's mouth. I forgot his name. Boone. Boone, right. Boone's like, somebody killed my wife. Mike was instantly on his team. He was like, I am here to help you. I know what it's like to have a wife, and I would yeah. want to avenge her. <laughs> oh, God. There would be so much vengeance if anyone had Oh, my God. Her. So I went into the town looking for answers. And I couldn't, or Mike went into the town looking for answers. Mike couldn't find any answers. Mike stumbled across Ranger Andy. Ranger Andy has been injured. He's been abandoned. His life was no longer of use. So this I is sent so dark. I, or Mike Christ sent Ranger ben. Andy out front of the dinosaur, but nothing happened. And then Mike was confused. He kept telling him, "Man, really, it's out front of the dinosaur is a really cool place to go. You should totally check it out." And nothing was happening. And then Mike just figured that, well, Ranger Andy has had an angel by his side this long. He probably still does. Uh, later, you find out that Mike forgot to equip the correct hat to alert Boone. But we'll get to that in a moment. So Mike then went searching around the rest of the motel and came across uh, Manny Vargas. Oh, Manny Vargas, yes. And uh, Manny Vargas was talking about how th some ghouls needed to be taken care of at a science facility. And Mike was instantaneously okay with science and ran in a beeline with no distraction to... The uh, Repcon. Yeah, Repcon, uh, what ended up being a missile facility. Yeah. Mike was head over heels in love with the building. There was rockets and science everywhere. I mean, it's an awesome building. So we go inside... <laughs> and we're killing feral ghouls everywhere because they're attacking Mike and Mike has to kill him. So he, he makes his way upstairs and he meets Johnny Brightside. Or oh, yeah, Brightside, yeah. So he meets Something him like and he's this glowing, shining like science that. experiment who's asking for help. And Mike was like, anything that I can do to help in a science facility is definitely going to be done. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. So then we went, or Mike went into the basement and discovered several times how to die very quickly from very large individuals with clubs. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> the Night King are down there. Yeah, yep. and they whooped Mike's ass repeatedly <laughs> to the point where I f Mike forgot to save a few times, <laughs> and, Ooh. It, and it pissed Mike off greatly. <laughs> Mike, come on, man. Fallout so 101. Then, so then I went... Fallout 101. And then I went... Uh, and, and then Mike went and talked to the, the, the guy... In in the the basement, the leader of the Nightkin with the Brahma Bulls. Oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Uh, I don't remember. So you you talk to that. He Mike's talking to that guy, and he's like, "I'll leave if you find all these stealth boys." And Mike decided that he could probably actually keep most of the stealth boys for himself. So he decided to go ahead and help him out. So he went into the locked room and met up with uh, with with the guy that's guarding that room, the sure. the, the ghoul guy. 
Uh, Mike then decided after talking to him for a while, the guy was asking for help and Mike was just tired of being people's whipping boys. He was not doing science at this point. He was just doing fetch quests and that was over. So Mike killed him instantly, went up, got his key, checked the computer, the only computer in the room while carefully disarming bear traps, found that the stealth boys were gone, went back and reported to the guy, the nightkin are gone. Science can be done yet again. So we go back up, talk to Johnny Brightside. Uh, he says, meet me at the launch facility. Or, uh, no, you got to talk to, yeah, meet me at the launch, where the launch room. You got to talk to this other guy, Chris something or another, and you got to help him make science happen because we're taking these rockets to our home planet. And Mike was like, my God, the chance to launch rockets and do science, I'm into it. So <laughs> gladly, Mike found all of the components that were needed. Right. And then launched these guys into space. Now, Mike tried to alter their trajectory, their course, but didn't quite have didn't the computer that. skill to do that. Oh. Uh oh So they rocketed over my head and into an undisclosed location that Mike doesn't know where they went from there. So I went space. back. I went back and I talked to Manny Vargas, let him know, hey, the problem's been taken care of. And he said, okay, thanks. And that was pretty much it for Manny's story. And then Mike was like, hey, Manny, let's go check out this dinosaur. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Hold on, Manny. Let me put on my favorite hat. <laughs> Walked out in front of the, the dinosaur, and Manny's head exploded. <laughs> so I went upstairs, and I was like, Boone, this is what, or Mike was like, this is what we've done. And Boone said, oh, you found out facts. And, and Mike was like, no, this is as close as I could get to the truth, just to try to shut this guy up. And uh, Boone did not take kindly to that and told me to leave, or told Mike to leave. Well, never coming back, he was very aggravated. So Mike shot him in the face with a shotgun until he died and fell off of the dinosaur and then stole all his things. And then uh, he went down God, into the gift shop. He's got a really shop. good hat. He went down into the gift shop, and Mike found out that if he opened the one door by using a bobby pin, he could have all the toy rockets his little heart could desire. So you have all of the toy rockets now. They're incredibly radioactive. I'm going to die. That's fine. There's, <laughs> they weigh nothing. So. There's 70 of them. <laughs> I am well aware that comes into Orby's game too. Oh, dear. From there, we head on up to uh, the uh, free, free side. Mm -hmm. And at free side, you have a couple little adventures on the way. Mainly, everybody is completely worthless to you, and you kill all of them. Okay. Because none of them are scientists or doctors. I mean, come on. They don't have a purpose in life. Did I, did I uh, kill oh the God. people selling energy weapons and take everything? No. Because you didn't find them. Oh. I should dude, kill them. Dude. Oh, man. If you, you did find, rush, you're you did out of your mind. You did find a gun called that, that gun. gun. Mm. And you did find a gun called the recharge rifle. Oh, yeah. To man. which is now your f current favorite gun. Okay. It's, it's, it's great. So we get up yeah, to wait, Freeside. Yeah. guns. We get up to Freeside, and Mike decides that, uh, that that he needs to go talk. He gets to the gate. They're not letting him in. He needs credit, or he needs a passport. Mike doesn't have either one of those things. Mike Mike doesn't have 2,000 caps. That's that's crazy talk. So Mike goes back and finds... Hey, man, I kill everybody. How do I not have 2,000 caps from looting because their corpses? Because your ass gets whooped frequently, and stim packs are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Stim packs. So Mike does because he uses them like they're smarties. <laughs> so Mike decides to help out the Kings. He, he helps the Kings out because, I mean, they've got a cybernetic dog. I mean, well, who wouldn't want to help them out? I like dogs and I like science. You find out <laughs> that you have the opportunity to get the NCR to play nice because they like you right now. The NCR is friends with you. Mm. But you find out that you could also uh, get a free passport. If you uh, help the king take out the NCR. So Mike being idolized by the NCR walks into their outpost and they're all real upset with him, but they're not shooting because he's idolized. And then Mike lays waste to the entire NCR oh outpost. Oh. Wow. Goes and talks to the king. He goes and talks to uh, Mike and Andy, I think the guy's name is, who gives you the, the oh, counterfeit yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. passport. You find out that, uh, that that you can get in the gate. You go in the gate, and, we, and Mike stopped there. He stopped for a break there. Now, one thing that Mike is doing for all of the uh, – every merchant he comes across, because obviously he's shopping people's yard sales and wares, he also has the, the scavenger perk. 
Oh, and, good, good. And, and the other one that's like, look around and you can find more things. Yeah, yeah, I, f- I forget what that one is. Every time there's something that's even remotely related to a game, be it a playing card or a book or something like that, Mike has to buy it. So you have an enormous collection of playing cards. <laughs> Just dozens and dozens of playing cards. God, okay. Damn it. And that's that's where Mike is right now. He's taking a nap just inside, just inside the strip. Yep. So Mike, you played Ryan. I uh, I was bad. I uh, did not actually get around to playing as Ramirez Caracal. Um, yeah, I, I have well, plans. You're gonna have double duty next. Uh, time. Well, I I did that last <laughs> time. I uh, duty. I uh, had a month off in between. Um, uh, my my grad classes, so I kind of binged on my Steam backlog. Mike Pelican was nice enough to uh, fix up my computer, so I've been. I played Dead State. I played. Uh, I played a lot of stuff, just not Fallout. Uh, Dead State, Jet, right, well, Jade Empire, <laughs> yeah. Transistor. I mean, that's Mercy cool. I mean, you know the game well enough. You could just Good tell God. us what you were yeah. thinking I mean, about doing. Anyway. I know, you know, I I learned that actually going through it as a different character gave me a different perspective. And to be fair, I was going to start up again once the last episode of Magcast aired, but <laughs> <laughs> we weren't going to bring that up. I didn't bring it up. It's all Mike's fault. <sighs> anyway, Huey, how's Orvi doing? Orvi is beat to shit. <laughs> uh oh, what happened to me? BTS. Well, God, guys. <laughs> I thought, right. I thought you had me. I thought he was going to be perfect. You're, you're, no, you're a badass. Okay, first of all, guys, just, uh, just bit off more than I could chew. What happened? There are some amazing things happening. Okay, is anybody else playing on the hardcore mode? I know. Okay, I am. No. I've never played I the am. game, so I, didn't I always do. Okay, I am playing on the hardcore mode. Is so, that one death? Hmm? No, no. It's just, it's just you have to eat. Oh, you have hunger. Yeah. You have. You have thirst. Um, yeah. you oh, need, okay. you need to sleep. Um, and uh, stim packs. Heal I mean, over I've, time, and I've, they don't I've, heal crippled wounds. I've been role playing pretty hard, so like I feel like I've been playing pretty, pretty hardcore on my own. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, basically, stim packs. You know, if you get crippled, you put a stim pack in that particular limb, it'll heal it. Does not yeah. happen in hardcore mode. You need, you need Hydra or doctor bag. You need a doctor's bag, or you have to go to a doctor. Okay. Um, well, the Hydra does too, doesn't it? Or no? I don't think it does. Well, no. that's all it does, isn't it? I th- is re- re- restore a limb. I don't know. I, it's I just know. A drug. I thought Hydra was just. It, Hy- Hydra is a uh, is, is a drug that will restore your limbs, yeah. but oh, wow. you can get but addicted you can get, to it. You can get addicted to it, right? Yeah, gotcha. You don't do drugs. Winners don't do drugs, man. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> some early nineties arcades. <laughs> so basically, um, just currently in the game, your entire body is crippled. What the? I hell mean, happened? catch us up. Catch us okay, up. Okay, you okay, okay. <laughs> so okay, uh, let's let me think. Um, uh, okay, you, you, as, as normal, you've been doing everything. As, as much as I can get your character to do, you do it. Okay. So. Am you, I still on course for being a perfect character by the end of the game? As, as, as well as I can, um, like, as, as well as I can do, yes. <laughs> as you, you will be a living god at the end of this, hopefully. So. It's uh, crippled to shit. <laughs> just, dude, you limp. Your everything goes blurry every now and then. You can't aim a gun for shit right now. It's amazing. <laughs> I've never seen a character this beat up, but you soldier forth, and that's what matters. So, <laughs> okay, um, real quick, back to uh, 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 Novak. Yeah. Uh, you got there. You did all the quests perfectly. Everyone sure. loves you, but um, because uh, I only want you to have characters that are non-humans as your, so you did not accept Boone as a companion. Okay. Um, but you did steal every single rocket, and I had you go back to all the places you've liberated and leave one rocket there. <laughs> so, is that I have calling a calling card now. <laughs> so you leave a Repcon rocket everywhere you've 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 basically <laughs> wiped out and saved pointless places. You went into an, uh, 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 a cave in the very beginning that was full of do- uh, uh, wolves. Rocket everywhere. Rockets. So you every time you're like, oh, I've been here. How and you long can just leave. did that take you? It was a long time, but I figured <laughs> it's good to be thorough. He's role playing, all right. He's doing it right. Yeah. So. Now, I don't know if I would have had the wherewithal to go well, through Well, honestly, like since, that, since, since, since Novak comes so soon, it sure. wasn't that many places I had to go back right. through. But it was, it, was, uh, it, was, it was not necessary, but it was worthwhile because that's how playing Orby is. Now, guys, here's my favorite thing about Orby's playthrough right now. There is a glitch in my game when I'm playing as Orby. 
I have done everything I could. The, we're, we're ranked as vilified against the um, Legion. The Legion. They are not hostile to you. No matter what I do, the Legion will not turn hostile against because you. Because they're terrified. So you waltz into their camps. You annihilate all of them. Well, that's, that's what happened with, with Mike and the NCR. Is they were all shooting at him, but they weren't hitting. No, no. They weren't even shooting. They don't ever turn angry at Orvi. Yeah, they, they were all <laughs> shooting terrified. at Mike They're just the whole hoping time, I'm going to leave. But they never, ever, ever landed. No, no, not one shot landed. Oh, man. Dude. So I, my game's glitched, too. <laughs> Dude. The, the fact- it's a buggy game. See, I, I probably have some patches and mods on there that fix that because you get shot at a lot, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they hit you. I mean, other people will shoot at you, like like right. like everything. But it's just specifically but like, that the, that, that faction. faction is it shows you as vilified, so they sh- all should be red the second they meet you. Uh huh. But they don't. In fact, I came across one of their parties that hunt you, and they were just walking through the desert. Right. So you walked up and massacred them because they weren't doing shit. <laughs> it was amazing. But they're still like if if an NPC walks by, they'll go hostile to the NPC and attack them, and the and you just join in the fray. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm like, this is great. I've never played a game like this before <laughs> where the entire main enemy units just sort of like are cool with you. So how did you end up getting to Vegas? Okay, how basically. Did I end up getting to Vegas? You're loaded. I don't know what I'm doing, but you have got a shitload of money. So you actually did get <clears throat> I had you buy the pass, and then you still used the credit instead of using the pass to get in. Just because Just because I was like, let's go completely baller just with make this. It rain. It's like I got the pass, but you know what? Here's two thousand caps. Just let me in. And they're like can you imagine how much, how big a bag of well, two thousand caps must again, be? Well, again, it's you don't you don't give them to you don't give them caps. to you. You, you have to just prove. like, hey, look, I got this many. I got this many caps. Let you so I, I figured Orvi would be like, hey, yeah, I got two thousand caps. Here, here, take a look. I got that's, more caps. That's than- actually in the voice too. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you did help the kings. Okay. And you took their dog. <laughs> you took the dog. Yes. Uh, you had been traveling with Ed E, whom you had. Pieced back together with parts because you're not good enough with uh, electricity and things like that. Oh, yeah. But you found the parts around the area, put them back together, and he was following you around. But the second there was a dog, you changed his name to Apollo. <laughs> there it is. And, uh, and now you have a dog that walks with you. <laughs> Mike, Mike hasn't even found the opportunity to have a friend yet. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. That's because he's too busy killing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All of his Dude. potential friends are dead. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You actually don't have a companion either, Huey. You've just been kind of... I mean, you've been meeting people and helping out, but you move on. I'm a, I'm a tumbleweed, man. Yeah. He's a nomad. Well, you're a survivor. You're, you're very much a survivor of the wasteland, and you know, friends friends can be a hindrance sometimes. Well, let's, are, are you finished? That's pretty much it. I, okay. I, I did this a long time ago. But, Orby, I, <laughs> to, to, to this time, you've been super crippled for a long time. I just never go into a doctor's office. You, why don't you go to the doctor in Freeside? I just haven't done it. There's no. I know there are doctors around. I yeah. just keep forgetting that Corby's completely name? crippled. Uh, Julie, Julia, Julie some, something, something in Freeside. Yeah, in that the, little the Mormon area. fort. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Julie. All right. Eventually, well, I guess. I guess. I guess, what, what did we leave off at Novak last it, time? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Well, you were doing. You had already been in Novak, so you did stuff around Novak. Yeah. 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 I did. I did. I, I did the power plant and all that, and he blinded himself with the light and. He he, I think the last thing that wait. Well, you you were in Novak and you would you had taken the correct lady out there, but you didn't know what was going to happen. Going to kill her, <laughs> and you never even went to, back to talk to him. You were so traumatized, you left. <laughs> That's so perfect. You didn't complete the quest. You, you were, were like, like, "Holy fuck, he did it!" <laughs> well, he didn't know he was going to shoot him. He was just like, "Just bring him out to the hill so I can talk to him, and we'll work it out." And then his head exploded, and Huey was just Where's like, his "Special head." Right. Yeah, no, like there was blood on Huey's face. And he was standing there wide-eyed, you know, imagine the anime scene where they like shakily look <laughs> at their hand and then he, and then he, he, he's not been back to Novak. Luckily he already got his dinosaur, but you know, he never went back. That's right. You collect Anyways, toys. I forgot about that. Yeah, That's well, awesome. I mean, not uh, all they're of collectibles. Them, he's, yeah. He's, he's got his truck. They're mint in box, man. He's, all got right? his, he's got his truck and he's got, mean, did he get a dino? got his dinosaur. Did he get a toy rocket? He did not get a toy rocket. Um, that far. Okay. Shame on Huey. Yeah, but uh, let's you see. So you moved there. on. Yeah, no, there was no going back. That was traumatic for you. Uh, <laughs> so you went to Boulder, uh, and you helped out. You so there was a standoff in Boulder, right? Oh, Where I there's about uh, that. Yeah. there's there's the oh, NCR shit. facing yeah. off against uh, 
one of the gangs. Which gang is it? Oh, they were um, the cons. The great the cons. cons. Yes, right, the great, great cons. cons. And you walk in, and they like they've got hostages, and they just want to get out, and the NCR doesn't want to let them because they've obviously gotten in a firefight and captured some of their people. And you were just like, "Look, guys, come on, guys, what do we got to do?" So he goes in, he talks to the guy, he runs back, talks to the NCR. He's like, "I'll just whatever we got to do so people don't have to shoot it anymore. That's uh, fine. I I'll give you the caps here. Just have." 500 caps or whatever you want and just look the other way. Let these guys out. You don't have to shoot. Hostages will be back. It'll be fine. They're like, the NCR is reluctant, but they're, you know, they're start, Huey's starting to get a rep with them too. Uh, yeah, ever, ever, ever since the coyote incident where they <laughs> saved you from the coyotes. Uh, Wait, that's what gives you a rep? It's like, oh, we have to save this fucker. Yeah, well, I guess no, he's but ever okay since guy. That was he's, when I, they were okay in my book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when Huey decided they were, they okay. were okay. cool, cool fellas. And, uh, you know, Willing to help out whoever. Anyone anyone that seems okay, which is most people in Huey's naive eyes, but not the guys Anyways. who crucified everybody. <laughs> I mean the cons aren't that like they're they they push drugs and stuff, but they're not really like, you know, they're not, they're not Oh, but Huey's straight edge, man. He should be like super against that. I'm not against anything. He's not, no, he's no. Huey's not totally. straight edge. Huey doesn't Huey doesn't partake himself, but he's not against other people not, having a good time. Can, I'm all for anyone doing whatever yeah. they want, Mike. Uh-huh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Let's do some coke right now. Uh, I don't. This mean he I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm letting anyone else choose their lives. All right, fine. But anyways, uh, oh, in that case, after Boulder, you, here, you went no. down to. Uh, <laughs> you actually had to head Jesus. down to. Uh, you, you once you found out what was going on and you got a lead on Benny, you're like, all right, I need to. I need to get there because as much as as much as you're a good guy, you got still, shot him in the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a personal <laughs> attack. So uh, you did stop at Boulder Campground uh, because you were kind of tired. Uh-oh. And uh, the lake was nice. It's the first time you've seen water in years. Uh, and you hopped in the. You, you actually just stopped in the trailer and uh, climbed in the bed there and took a nap. And uh, when you woke up, uh, despite the bed not having being claimed, you had a little visitor. Uh, Miss Miss Sergeant Vineholm had just gone ahead and you hopped out of that bed and there she was. She's very forward apparently. Wow. But uh, I mean, you weren't Huey, you dog. Well, no, no, not to say that anything happened. <laughs> I mean, he was asleep. He woke up, and there's, you know, uh, well, NCR, NCR lady Huey, next Huey, tell him. us on the doll where she touched you. <laughs> but it's anyways, a really rotted doll. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was a bit caught off guard, but that's apparently where her uh, her station is, is, is the park. So she, they had a little chat, and she mentioned uh, an old B-27 bomber that went down in the lake, and... That was that was something that caught Huey. That was enough to distract Huey from his mission to Vegas. So he hung out at the park with Vineholm for a while. Uh, got attacked by some by some lake lurkers, I believe. Uh, they lake are. lurks, yeah. Those things are nasty uh, because they melee really hard and they have a really powerful range attack. Uh, between you and Vineholm, you managed to stop the two that just came off of the docks out of nowhere. Uh, that that was very surprising. You guys bonded over that, and then you had a, went on out despite despite that the the thrill of that bomber that you could salvage because being a survivor apocalypse guy, you're like a bomber. There's got to be military hardware in there. Totally. So you swim out in the lake, and you do manage to spot it, but then you realize you have no real way to to get down there. To so I don't know if there's I don't know if you'll come back to that and you'll find some way to deal with that. But anyways. There was another encounter with lurkers. There was a little platform out in the middle of the lake, and there were four lurkers, and uh, you got your ass kicked, and you just had to... You limped. I don't know how you swam in that condition, but you got out of there. Uh, Does the water not give you radiation there? No. No, no. It's, no, a, it's, it's, it's one of the only pure, I think, yeah. But, uh, you know, that. then you went back to, to Vineholm's place, and you stayed the night again, and... Uh, you know, who's to say what could have happened that <laughs> night? <laughs> but uh, once you knew each other a little better, you're a gentleman. So. Yeah, you know. But uh, she nursed you back to help after you took the nap, and then you pretty yeah, much she... said, said goodbye and went on your way. You had you had stuff to deal with, so. You know. I got shot in the fucking head. Maybe maybe you'll see her again someday. Looking for that platinum chip. Oh, yeah. Indeed. So then what? Then you moved on to... Oh, uh, yeah, not the the farm just or er, the farm just outside of what it would freeside freeside yeah or oh no you know what before you went to Baldur there was one more thing you did and it was a fun little excursion you had you realized you never had gone down to the outpost to let them know what happened in Nipton so before you went to Baldur when you when you had stunned left 
Novak, like when you were thinking about the horrible thing you just did, you felt like you had to do something <laughs> good. So you went you went on down to the outpost. You let them know, and uh, the one the one guy there mentioned, "Hey, can you clear out some critters?" And being a survivalist, you're like, "Oh yeah, wildlife, no problem. I can deal with that." Uh, but you had from a little salvage expedition. It was it wasn't powder gangers. I forget which gang it was, but it was some gang, and the leader had a had a rock uh, a grenade launcher that you had stumbled across. Jackals? You're, you're not, you're not vipers. It, I think it had so. to have been the vipers because uh, yeah. Mike has that too. Okay. So you you're like I never really use guns, but this could this could be fun because all of the the big it's it's a bunch of mutant ants down in this little kind of like an exit tunnel. <laughs> Uh, and there's and there's there's raised sides on either side, so you just hopped on the side and you're like, I'm gonna give this thing a shot, and you just had a blast. There were insect <laughs> legs everywhere. Uh, there were there were insect legs everywhere. It was great. You had a good amazing. time. It's the only time I think I've had you fire a gun at enemies. Uh, I think you used a varmint rifle once or twice very early on before you got your trusty tire iron, which you have now. Now that I mean, it's a good thing that uh, that I mean, Ad- Adam, I guess, is trying to trying to follow that, but. Uh, You've moved on to the rebar club. Yes, and that thing is uh, that thing has some heft to it. And now that you have the knockdown perk or whatever it is, you're just ridiculous. <laughs> like, you no, you have you. Ha- it's it's. I thought it was going to be a small chance, but it's got to be like a minimum a thirty percent chance to knock something down when you melee it because and they just and they just flop over and then you just hit them on the ground and they slide <laughs> bam, along bam, the ground. Bam! Oh my gosh! It's, yeah, the ragdoll physics in that game are really are phenomenal. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, you still can't take much of a hit because your endurance is so low. But like, if you if you knock them down with that first hit, they're done. That's amazing. So it's really fun. You've been a. Uh, so you did you, you you blew up a bunch of ants with a grenade launcher. Then you went to Boulder. Now you're at the farm, and the farm had you do, uh, what was it? The vault. The yeah, because the their their valves were messed up. So you go to yes. the vault thirty four, and uh, by this point you're a friend of animals as well, being the survival guy you are. So I mean all those all those uh, what is it? The guanas? No, the uh, geckos. The geckos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the golden geckos. Whatever. My buddies. No, no big deal. You you walk through. You just give them the, you just give them the uh, <laughs> the old the old crack Dundee animal eye. <laughs> you stare into their souls, and uh, and they're they're fine with it. They're like, yeah, whatever. This guy's cool. I mean, you know, he's not not really golden. He's more of a redhead, but it works. <laughs> Boom. So you 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 go into the vault, and this was the, the, the excellent gecko, opportunity to pull out. Geckos. And this place was ratted to hell. Like there, there's radiation just coming out of this place. They have a reactor leak or something, and. Uh, you had the sweet spacesuit you found, and that and that worked out great. Oh, awesome! You went in there. Uh, let me tell you, like the lake lurkers are probably the only thing that could give you a problem, but the all the ferals in there are not even an issue. Amazing. Uh, now this is the only time I've broken the fourth wall. Uh, I did have to look up how the hell to get through that place, because you have to go underwater. And find these oh, yeah. corpses, un- like stuck in this little corner behind desks, in two different locations to get passwords to this computer. Oh, it was. And then the way they handled it, because I guess they couldn't actually have the tech to drain water, is they changed the layout of the map once you press. Uh, oh yeah, press that's a funky. Button. That's funky. Oh, I, I understand why they had to do it. Is because they they inputted a lo- like once I understood, I was like, I understand why, but it was terrible. <laughs> yeah, they change, oh, yeah, they yeah, change no. a hallway because they they just slap in a load door after you hit this one password, and then it takes you to the not flooded corridor, which is actually just a different zone somewhere. Yeah, right. so they did that, and that that was frustrating. But anyways, uh, and they also did the really annoying thing in there where you would go through, clear the rooms, but then once you hit triggers, things attack you from behind. I yeah. hate that. I hate oh, that yeah. nonsense. Yeah. 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 And like even there's like a mini boss at the end of it, and when you open his door, there's like chain guns in there, and then two guys come in from behind you again, and it's like, come on! Luckily, you had a pulse grenade that you had held on, so you just chuck that bad boy in there because sentry guns are not a thing you can really deal with being a melee kind of fella. Yeah. But uh, you had that pulse grenade, and then you just beat the heck out of the guy, and that guy had a lot of health. But good thing because you just knocked him over, and then he laid on the ground while you just pummeled him. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, it was really good. But anyways. That's that's about what you've done. Uh, and then you pass the credit check because you've just been rolling around. The good thing about you being a melee character is that, one, it makes your perks really easy to pick because almost everything is like, hey, how about some gun stuff? <laughs> and two, uh, guns are really 
expensive, so you just sell those to all the merchants and get a lot of money. Yeah, the only gun you really hold on to, you've got like a, you've got like a the the three fifty seven hunting oh okay with pistol or something with the scope. Yeah. yeah, you hold on to that, but beyond that, it's just uh, oh my gosh, we're we're getting crazy in here. <laughs> Ryan, our technical director here is is wow making it a rave it setting, uh, setting the mood really in here with some uh, moment, guys. special lighting <laughs> i mean when we're talking about someone as beautiful as your character in fallout Huey. dude it's god it's such a unique way to play that game i'm uh, having I, I don't think i would be having nearly as much fun. i'm not even sure if the game honestly like as fun as it is i don't think it would have held my attention as much if i wasn't playing as you because one i'm making it harder on myself Two, I'm going out of my way to role play as hard as I can, <laughs> and like just like specifically not do things even if they give me uh, <laughs> not give me uh, experience and that sort of thing. But you know, that's that's Dude. that's you. But yeah, right. I wish I wish the game had a good crafting system because I want to just. I agree. Well, well, I feel like I want to be scavenging and making cool stuff. Right. But there's nothing really to do with that. Right. Yeah. It's just like make some bullets, I guess, or something. Let's hope want. they fix that in the upcoming release of Fallout 4. Well, tell us all about that, Huey. Oh, my God. I heard that game looks like a PS2 game. Fuck those people. <laughs> God. I hear you play as a dog. Whoa, bro. <laughs> Dog's part of the game. Dude, I, 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 my friend, I, I, I read like rumor mill websites constantly because that's what my life is. Don't do that. I don't care. Don't, don't do that. That's is, what I do. That is the worst thing you can do with your time. I all right? They're way worse. I can do math. Watch. That I know. <laughs> well, okay, yes. Watch <laughs> watch the trailer, enjoy the trailer, and then just continue to wait for the game. Don't just fucking tease yourself by looking at rumors for Some something probably like not going to happen. How do you masturbate? Cuz that's how <laughs> I've been doing it the past To naked ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I read Fallout 4 rumor websites. And fanfic. Yeah, you know, just constantly. Just let it be, man. You just Fallout gotta... 4. When, when, does it have a release date yet? No, but there's a lot of... The rumor sites, Mike, seem to think it's going to come out sometime. It, they, they they come out in October, don't, usually. Okay. It's fine, no, but just let it be. What? What? Why, is, do, why, do, you, why do you have to control how he wants what to enjoy his I'm excited. I'm like fucking Because it's it. part of the whole fucking system with video games where people get super hype and then they pre-order, then they get a shitty game, and then people keep making shitty games because people keep fucking pre-ordering their shitty games and they don't actually make good games that people will buy when they come out. It's Who's all set on fucking pre orders You Pause. can get the Anthem Bethesda. That's like an Anthem that Blizzard. Hold on. Nominal segue. Hold on. You don't have any hard facts other than the preview for Fallout 4, but he is currently revved. So we're going to do an old school segment. We're going to take it right into Mike's crotchety Boom, corner. boom, 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 boom. I was waiting for the music. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to wait, like hearing the music when I listen to this. All right. Well, there's that. The fact that people just put out shitty games because it's all tied to pre-orders. And they're like, oh, well, people have already pre-ordered the fucking game. So we'll just, we don't need to work as hard. We'll just put out the day one patch. And so you end up getting broken shitty games. That's not how it works at all. Boom. What? How, tie, how things are tied to pre-orders? People, no, how, how, no, you think the fucking designers want to be like, oh, we've got pre-orders, fuck this game now, we're, gonna, we're just going to do a day one. Pass. I'm not saying I mean, the designers that's, that's, that's do, that's but I'm saying. <laughs> From the mouth fuck of babes. you. Sorry. But uh, I'm not saying that it's necessarily the designers, but the publisher would be like, okay, hey, listen, we've got to hit this street date. We've got enough, people are buying it, people are pre-ordering anyway. There are, are lesser repercussions if this game is broken on day one. I mean, fucking look at Assassin's Creed these days. They actually don't work when you buy them. That's why I don't buy Assassin's Creed anymore. <laughs> Just like Fallouts <laughs> that don't work when you buy them. And we should not work until, they, we should not buy them until they work. <laughs> Wait, when did you? And buy we New shouldn't Vegas? be fucking excited about them. Don't like, tell me what to do with my excitement, you so dick. So you're not excited about Fallout? <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm not like fucking letting it rule my life. Yeah, Huey, you're letting it rule your life. Idiot. Stop being so mainstream. It's probably why you're. I don't give a red. shit. Stupid. I don't care what anyone thinks. Fine. That's why I, your finger's dying, dude. All I'm doing is is in my head. It's a constant loop of uh, of. Uh, happy that song. All right, <laughs> is this your crotchety corner? Or do you have an? I actually, I have something corner? I've been pissed yeah, about. Come for on, a week. let's do it. Uh, it's yard selling related because, of course, it is. But last week, I went out with super fan of the show Matt PA. Uh, yard selling. We um, uh, ended up uh, around like say eight thirty, eight forty five in Reisterstown. There was a community sale. It's like, all right, let's go to a community sale. 
walk around to the houses. I, you know, look for and ask about video games and then just look for weird shit. I uh, got, some, got some decent stuff before that. But um, the first house we, get, we went to in this community sale, uh, again, it's like 845, pretty early by yard sale standards. I asked a woman, it's like, oh, you want to happen to have any video games you're getting rid of? And she's like, no, someone uh, came and knocked on our door at 6 a.m. And, you know, they bought all the video games then. And I'm just like, oh, well, that's early. Well, okay, well, thank you very much. And can you uh, continue on the next one? In my head, I'm just screaming. It's like, first off, what the fuck is your problem if you are going out and knocking on people's doors at 6 a.m., disturbing them while they are probably sleeping so that you can bug them for video games? I love video games. Deal, man. It, they Maybe they did. I would not give anyone a good deal if they did that to me. I would... If I was like super, if Vanjie came up to me and said like, hey, just sell it to them anyway, I would charge them quadruple because first off, you have awoken me from my slumber on a fucking Saturday morning. Be what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> and I probably would just proceed to chase them off my lawn with a baseball bat and hopefully catch them so I could just knock them around a bit because that's fucking uncalled for. And then there's the just fucking like person that ran out of the prison. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's a fucking person who actually sells to that person at 6 a.m. It's like, don't you have any goddamn self-respect? Someone comes to your door and wakes you up just so they can bother you for something at your yard sale. Don't sell it to them. Tell them to get the fuck out. Tell them to come back at 8 a.m. when the ad said to come by. Because it's uncalled for for someone to knock at your home that early to ask for something that you're getting rid of at a yard sale. I don't even mad about the games. I don't even care. I am mad I mean, about the breach of etiquette. You care a little bit. On breach the, of etiquette. On the other side, though. The kind of Western he civilization. Did the games. <laughs> it was an effective, you know, yeah, that, that you guy did, results. That guy did win. That guy Let's, basically pre-ordered a game. <laughs> 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 the publisher got rid of it early. <laughs> Not caring about the rules. <laughs> it was probably garbage. See? It all ties in. <laughs> Yeah, it probably was. It was probably like a box of PS2 sports games. Jesus People Christ. think those are collectible <laughs> these days. I shit you not. That's madness. God. Everything's collectible, man. I agree. Like, technically, in the way that everything is food, if you can put it in your mouth and Especially chew it. Especially irradiated toy rockets. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I ate. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Oh, Number really? 26. I feel like we didn't do something that we usually do. Didn't we? I don't know. I, I guess something not. out. I don't know. I can't well, remember. You, you we just went, did we went, it. You we interrupted went, me trying to close the show. We so went there's that. There's that. <laughs> oh, we, I mean that's a staple. Uh, we went pretty long on Fallout. This yeah, we week. did. We did. We didn't. We don't like. We didn't talk about the things we're playing, but that doesn't. No, we don't really no. do that anymore. We're playing, we're playing Fallout. Fallout. Yeah, I mean, true. I play other things than Fallout. Me and we'll get I to that cares. next time. Witcher Thank three. you. I played everything else but Fallout. Thank you for listening. All right, Witcher three is fun. Bye. What? Jesus Christ! You think he's getting paid for? No, it's not. No, Witcher 3 is great. He's right. It's a fun game. That's the worst. But now we're done. <laughs> so shut your fucking mouth. No. <laughs> I don't want to prove any games. Thanks or for listening. Much appreciated. My name is Big Adam. We're over here. I'm Hilly. Mike. Ryan. Witcher 4 confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Fallout 4 rumor sites confirmed. <laughs> don't get excited, though. Thanks for listening. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs> The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the hosts, guests, and artists featured on the show. They are not necessarily the views or opinions of MAGFest itself. Any questions, comments, or complaints can be sent to podcast at magfest.org. Otherwise, go screw yourself.